The Bible says, For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Here is David's great prayer of repentance when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. And David has just asked for mercy. David has just pleaded for loving kindness. David has just asked the Lord to wash him and to cleanse him. And here we have the reason why all of these great blessings and benefits would come upon David, even though he had sinned against God, as he confesses here. And it's right there in verse 3. For I acknowledge my transgressions. David owned his sin. David didn't try to blame anybody else. David didn't point a finger at anyone else when Nathan pointed a finger at him. And there is mercy with the Lord. There is loving kindness with the Lord. There is cleansing with the Lord, even when we sin against our great and holy God who doesn't even look upon iniquity, yet that God will still wash us and cleanse us and restore us and create in us that clean heart again. All the blessings that David rejoices in and pleads for in this psalm can be ours despite our transgressions and despite our sins. The key is, will you acknowledge them? Will you own them? Will you take the blame and let the fault lay squarely where it belongs? I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. If you're not saved here today, salvation comes when you acknowledge that you've sinned against God and you're lost without his grace. If you are a Christian today listening to this and your life is not what it should be and it's not what it could be and you know you're walking in a way that God is not pleased with, if you want restoration, you must acknowledge They say the first step to rehabilitation with any addiction or any problem is first admitting and acknowledging the problem. And even even the Lord, when he spoke to his wayward nation Israel in the book of Jeremiah, he said, only acknowledge thine iniquity. If you would just be honest with yourself and honest about your sin, there is blessings and mercy and restoration and forgiveness But if you don't own it, you will go on in the way of transgressors. And that, my friend, is hard.